Hi everyone, we are back with another trainer sneak review and this time it's the Nike Air Vapormax flying it. We have the two colorways because I missed out on the Pure Platinum when they dropped the first time. So I've got the restocks which was about a week ago. So I didn't do a review straight away because I wanted to feel like what it was like wearing them. I have to admit they do feel quite nice. I mean they are very, for the technology it's very good. And of course I've got the new release which is the College Navy they're calling it. And I've got that Vapormax as well. So let's have a look at the shoe and we'll do the pure platinum first so here's the pure platinum they are very nice i mean it's obviously the pure platinum is going to be exactly the same as the navy but when i was wearing it with my foot it only hits these parts of the air bubble for me so that's why they're the main bits that have been probably well they're, they're, they're the only bits that have been reinforced on the shoe but i have to admit it is it is such a comfy weird shoe to to wear but it, it is actually really good and everybody's comparing them with ultra boost but it is a totally it's a totally different feel from ultra boost to the uh, vapor max so for me it's you can't really compare the two i know so many people are going to compare the two because the boost i have to admit the boost is really good i'm not going to deny that adidas have done a cracking job with the boost and nike have done a, also a cracking job with the vapor max i do i do actually quite like both but I've always been a, I've always been a Nike guy, so I've always I'd always wear Nike, even though I've got a few pairs of boosts. I still go to the I still go to Nike. I don't know that's just me, but uh, yeah. But for the sizing of the uh, Vape Max, I have gone up half a size, so I've gone up to a ten and a half UK. I don't know why it's just for the flying it. I don't know why they always seem to be, it always seems to me to be a little bit smaller, so I'd always go up uh, half a size. But that's just me. I mean, if you got a wide foot, you're gonna I'd say you're gonna struggle anyway, but. Just, uh, I'll always go to the shop and try before you buy, which everybody's probably seen them by now, so we're not really that fussed. But there will be a on feet and the product code and colours. Hang on, let me grab the right box. There's the right box. There's product code and colours for the Pure Platinum. But this is one that just released, when did it release? The 1st of June. So here it is, this is the 1st of June, and there it is. I actually admit these ones are really, really nice. And I, I, I did prefer the black air bubble. I did get actually these yesterday, but I, uh, I was out and about and almost missed it. So they are, they are very nice. So we'll do a uh, unfeet. If you can hear anything in the background, it's under the washing machine. I forgot to turn it off. And the box is this box. It's actually, it actually the Vapormax box is actually really nice. There it is, there's your product code and colours. Come on, focus, focus camera, there we go. And the next video will be, I'm not quite sure to be honest, I don't even know what's that, probably the fours, but we'll wait for the fours. End of the month, something like that. I believe the Air Jordan ones, the sale, like the sale white ones are coming out this month, so they'll definitely be a cup. But let's uh, back to these. I have to admit that because the, they, the air bubble is actually made in America and the rest of the shoe is made in, where's it made? I think these are made in Vietnam. No, nope, these ones are made in China. Where are the other ones made in? So the Pure Platinum are made in Vietnam and the Navies are made in China. But I believe the Air Bubble is actually made in America and shipped to wherever factory they want to ship it to. So that's, what, that's quite cool. But obviously you've got all your breathable flying it and you've got your fly wire and of course you've got the uh, I think it's like hyperfuse there as well to keep uh, that bit that bit dry but I believe but I would uh, I'd put some crepe on as well for just for the uh, especially if you live in the UK because it's bound to rain put some crepe on and feet won't get that wet that's what I've got to do with these but yeah that's the uh, Vapor Max uh, I think, like I said, the fours will be the next one. The, the alternate motorsport fours, which are at the end of the month, or the set, or the sale ones. So yeah, see what happens then. So uh, please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye. On feet of the Vapor Max, they're very nice and full. Every fly knit shoe I have, though, I have gone half size up. So, but I think with these, you probably can get away going true to size. They are very nice and full. You may struggle if you've got a wide foot, though. So I wouldn't guarantee anybody with a wide foot would get them on. And the next video we'll do will be another Vapor Max because there's only one more colour I want, which is the 90 day pack, and I like the blue ones. And I hopefully I'll get them.
apart from that, uh, I don't know what's happening. It might be the fours, alternate motorsport fours, but I don't know when they're releasing. So it'll be another video sometime. So uh, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye. On feet to the face, mate. It's very nice on foot. Like I said, the next video will be the Air Jordan 4s or the Sale 1s, which I've heard now are releasing sometime in June. So we'll see what happens and see what comes out. So please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.